Welcome seniors to bowling part two. Today you get to consider whether bowling might be a good sport uh, for you to engage in and keep active. We've uh, gone to the desk uh, and we've got our shoes. Now we're going down to the uh, bowling rack and you can see here a picture of the house balls, uh, just some of them. Uh, usually there's a whole line of them in the bowling alley. And uh, if you look in front of you then you can see the um, pictures of the um, the actual ball return um, returns that are in Bolodrum in Twin Falls, Idaho. So um, that'll give you an idea of what this bowling alley looks like and other bowling alleys uh, look the same. As you look out onto the lanes you can see a bowler actually bowling on the lanes and uh, so we're going to move up closer to the lanes uh, so that you can get in a good idea of what they look like. Here's a closer shot of the bowling lanes, and you can see on the lanes that uh, you can see the dots uh, in front of you on this. Uh, I don't know that you can see them very well, but um, there are marks on there. I'd mentioned that uh, in our last video. And to the extent possible, you ought to stand, try to stand in the same place uh, every time you uh, throw the ball. So on the approach, you ought to try to stand in the same place. Now that. Uh, may not be possible because the conditions on the lanes are changing and so you may have to move from one side to the other but for the most part uh, if you're having success try to stand in the same place and uh, uh, those marks are there to help you do that. Looking out onto the alley itself you can see the um, arrow zone out there that's 15 feet from the uh, foul line. If you look further out uh, the head pin is actually, uh, the center of that head pin is actually 60 feet from the foul line. So the arrow zone is uh, the marks that we're talking about are the spots when uh, we talk about spot bowling or hitting your mark. And so you want to choose one of those arrows. Uh, keep in mind your approach should be about the same every time and you should stand the same place on the approach. As you approach the foul line, um, those arrows, like I mentioned, are 15 feet away and they're a lot closer than the pins at 60 feet away. So get used to looking at an arrow and I think your bowling will improve uh, dramatically. Let's wrap this up. My first video was a long video. This one's very short. <clears throat> so they balance uh, each other out. But I encourage you to go to the bowling alley and after watching both videos and uh, <clears throat> kind of observe what's going on, look at the alleys and stuff and uh, bowl some and see if you can't pick up uh, some um, habits from uh, what's been described in these two videos. And I urge you to join a league and get involved. Uh, you'll meet nice people, you'll join yourself, and uh, you'll keep active. So that's, uh, that's it for the day. Keep active, and I'll see you in the next video.